Miami gives you chances. But the key for them is can they be clinical and take those chances? Because if you don't, they know Miami can come the other way and punish them. Well, they haven't scored from a set piece yet this season. Lovitz with that delivery, and they have now. Super delivery from Lovitz, and it's redirected home. Talk about a perfect start for Gary Smith's men. But somehow, some way, they make the most of a corner kick opportunity, and it looks like it's going to actually be an own goal. Good ball whipped into the box, in swing and bar. Yeah. yeah, with a couple of signs here that Inter Miami are finding their way into this match. What a ball. Little touch for Messi. Messi edge of the penalty area. Still Messi goes to his left. Big save for Panico. Super one-handed, but Messi rebounded it. It's been all Nashville so far, and the first break and the first moment of weakness for Nashville at the back is exploited by that man once again. Lionel Messi, one what three. The ball finds its way back to him by fortune, but the combination play between himself and Suarez is what creates this play. Ultimately, Santa Martino. We'll be worried about that one. Panagel's beat at the near post. It's it. Messi's delivery was world class. And just the slightest of touches takes it home. Yeah, led to this corner kick, but look at the delivery from Lionel Messi. Just a really well driven ball to the near post. Over the head of the first defender, which is so key. Joe Willis on as a substitute at halftime. Up against Lionel Messi, Willis to try and keep his team in the game, he does it, Messi! Poor to the right, get to the bottom corner, set the keeper a long way, it's a double for him, and into Miami after a nervy second half performance, looks like they might have sealed this one, 3-1. The large spell of possession, and yet it's entered Miami with the most pivotal moments and decisive moments. Alfonso earns the penalty kick. Being aggressive, being bold, being brave, scoring goals. This is not the kind of place they're likely to sneak a 1 0 victory. Here's Williamson for Mora, and that's how you do it on the road. Four and four, and a shock early lead for the Portland Timbers. Schulte beat Columbus behind, and Phil Neville's team get just the start they needed in Central Ohio. Look how he delays the movement at the last second he comes into frame, and he almost catches Camacho. Morris. Do stand off him for a moment, this is that battle again. Rossi against Bravo, nipped in for Rossi, square for Cucho, finds the corner! Second half. He's trying to slide across, but there's so much space. That one ball just cuts everything open. Rodriguez. Well, Evander's left it, and this is Mora. Evander's available. He plays it off for Moreno, who scores again at Lowdown Confield. And the Portland Timbers have gone back in front. And Santi Moreno will be 24 tomorrow. But tonight, he celebrates another goal in Columbus. Being decisive and having that final moment. And Mascara, I thought this touch. Russell Rowe. In go the challenges of the green shirts again. Amundsen steps in. That's your boa now. Aiden Morris. And Marrera hits an absolute beauty. Oh, what a goal. this as he steps onto it that ball is moving tailing away from Pantemos right into the top pin able to be available every game so far this season such an important piece really will do all that dirty work for your team here is Piat and trying to release Toy Toy is in could this be his moment Mason Toy you bet off and running here in Quebec First goal of the season. It's 1 0 to CF Montreal. Just for a player who hasn't played many minutes, is that timing of your runs as a forward. Mason Toy gets it just perfect. Able to get past the line. Of the 13 he's faced, and now it's Faku Torres up against 
the Canadian keeper to draw level. And it's Torres, no problem, 1-1. Here it's Stad Zapudo. Putting a sweet ball right into the path of Luis Muriel and then Fecundo Torres. Automatic from the spot. Ronson Sirwa going the opposite direction. New side now for Lassi Lapalainen. No, oh, careless ball from him. McGuire getting stuck in, but that's wonderful mopping up in midfield from Schwanier. And the touch from Saliba has released Yankov. And now the substitutes combined to good effect. It's on for Sunusi. Ibrahim who checks back. Ibrahim! The follow from Lassiter! It's the winner they wanted! And he can't stop scoring goals! Ari to the rescue! It's 2-1. By Laurent Courtois bringing in Yankov, who threads a ball right into the path of Sanusi Ibrahim. Sanusi Ibrahim's got a chance now to eye this thing up. He's going to decide to bring this back to his right foot. Trouble Pedro Golese. Smith. Rafael Santos. So he's fullback, picking out Cartagena. Good hold-up play. McGuire now for Ojeda. Back across. It's there. It's on Google. Oh, my God. Another turn, and Orlando, for the second time tonight, has come back from a goal down. The comeback kids have struck again. It's 2-2. On that backside, gets himself right in front of Sosa. Or I should say Raheem Edwards there in the end, trying to come back and track. Spoke before the game, you may have caught it. See, that's good hold-up play. That's what McCraw does. Brad Sims, the NYC CEO. Great ball. Rodriguez! <laughs> Santi secures a superb start for City. 1 0. Again, in front to Hannes Wolf. Now he's got some options in transition. Look at that run by Ojeda taking everybody away. And there's Santi Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Oh, great ball. For the second week in a row, the clincher from Fernandez in stoppage time. He can't set this up any better. Appreciation on the pass. Almada fends off the challenge by Wobodo. This is Mosquera. Jay Fortune, Shande Silva set to come on as well with Yakamakis in a moment, not before Almada gives it a go, fires and scores! His first from the run of play in 2024, Atlanta United on the board, and the Benz is blasting with excitement. He sees that Wiley's made the run. It's a great run from Wiley because he takes Wobodo with him. That then leaves the space for Almada to say, thank you very much, I'll put it into the box. Almada took the short option, didn't have enough on it. Here comes Cincinnati the other way. Three into the attack, they've got Acosta on the ball. Has two making a run, plays this ahead. Opportunity, tie game! Corey Baird! It was building all night. We are level in the 62nd minute. The pass. He knows that Oriano is going to be onside because it's Sleesh that's playing him onside and he releases the ball at the perfect time. Lennon can't make a challenge, then it's all about Oriano. Murphy, Robinson. Yedlin again, goes over the top, into the box, Lucho Acosta with the terrific finish. And in a flash, it's FC Cincinnati on top for the first time tonight. The ball that he plays in, no. It definitely looks as though it's onside there. Some defending to do as Awusu gets closer to goal. Longstaff, Longstaff across goal and Spalding there to intervene. Marshall Rutty and Awusu! Of the blue into a wreck of company he goes.
Leash. See the cut back to Longstaff is on, and he does well to shimmy free there. And the clearance from Spalding just puts him in danger, and it's right across the frame. Going into effect today. The player goes down for more than 15 seconds. They have to come off the pitch for two minutes of off-field treatment. Here is Polito to Agata. Back to Polito. He is in! Alon Polito opens the scoring in this derby. 1-0 Sporting Kansas City. What a fantastic goal from Sporting Kansas City. And what a start here at home. It's Leibold sending it forward. Well won by Chris Durkin. Oh, George Klaus! What a response from St. Louis City! He has done it again! Joe Klaus levels the match! 1-1! From Rasmussen, but this is going to be checked. Whether or not that is a shoulder shrug from Chris Durkin. But how about that look from Rasmussen? Alan Polito's got to be positioned a little bit deeper underneath William Magada. Durkin sending it forward, Alm battling, Leibold won it, and then Funches can get it forward. Good tackle. Agata holding off Totlin Klaus, oh, strong, tries to get around Rodoyan, does. Pompeu coming forward, Pompeu cutting inside! Oh my! What a goal from Silly Pompeu and St. Louis City! Where's the tone set? No foul blown, no whistle blown. Jean Klaus coming at it. But watch this overlapping run from Jean Klaus. Then Pompeo cuts. Making just his third appearance in league play this season. Let's score a goal in CONCACAF Champions Cup. Game winner, first leg of their series against Houston. Russell drives this into the box. Klaus is defensive header. Go great to Shallowy and across. Berkey the touch and it is in! Shallowy will take it. Kansas City tie the game two to two. They keep Shallowy in an onside position. Then no communication whatsoever. Jean Klaus deflection. Tommy flag is down for now. Tommy is in. Tommy. Fullbacks from St. Louis City, too slow, keeping them onside. But this is what happens when you have a. Amelia sends it forward. Pompeo, Klaus, Shalloway, this might work out. Oh, Toblin might be in! Toblin to tie the game! in the final minute and now it's one on one dying seconds of the game can you give yourself a point on the road you always remember your face Katranis ever adventurous left wing back while well, Real Salt Lake are building and now here he is delivering Gomez brings it down it's Andres Gomez and it's in The Colombian strikes yet again. It's Andres Gomez for Real Salt Lake on the road here at Soldier Field. A tidy finish at the near post. And a great touch by Catronis. He takes a little look. He knows that the runner initially is marked inside the box. He finds Gomez on the... But yeah, it just that's... I've said my piece. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and it's a bad giveaway from Chicago. It's Chicho Arango. You cannot give him that kind of opportunity. Not with the form that he's in. It's 2-0 to RSL. That man is inevitable at the moment. Yes, it's a mistake. It's a terrible giveaway. You see the give and go here. It looks like Chicago's winning the ball back. Should be so simple.
This one whipped in at the back post for Chicho Arango. And just like that, it is 3-0. And just like that, Chicho Arango stands alone at the top of the Golden Boot race in Major League Soccer. He's put on a show in his first full season with Real Salt Lake. I think that they're going to feel pretty good about the way they won this game on the road with the rotation of the squad. It doesn't get any better than potentially 3-0 and perhaps 4 on the road as Luna, they keep backing off and Diego Luna tucks it away for an emphatic exclamation point. And this is just one of those moments we just talked about, the players still making the runs, finding the space, being available. Can they continue to hold out Austin or maybe come up with a smash and grab? Here comes Rigoni! Emiliano Rigoni! And a smash and grab it just might be! Getting it out in front of them and running at the opposition. We've seen it from Obion. We certainly saw it from Finley. And we talk about the substitutes finding a way. Just the touch back through here. The space in between. That huge one pointer in Miami was a big one as well. Maxu looking for Navarro. The flag is stayed down. Navarro Ooh. cutting inside. Navarro! Oh! Slapped away by Martin Paz. And here is Bassett. Danger not done. Pass it, shimmying and shaking, gets the cross off. Impiag, and it's a no goal! At the end of the day, this is going to go down as an own goal, but you have to give all the credit to the homegrown player, Cole Bassett. He wiggles, he shakes free. It's about Sam Vines to be able to stay with the play. Cabral to Bassett. Bassett back to Cabral. Cabral. It's another own goal. Perhaps Harris will get credit. His shot did look to be on target. Against the three-back system, this is good service here off the left foot of Cabral, but the finish is... What I like from Chris Armas here is that he's given players, multiple players, a bite at the apple here where they can just get into the fold. Sometimes it's about just playing a few minutes when you've been working hard all week. Your manager gives you a few minutes. That gives you the confidence and the, the motivation to keep working hard week in and week out. Musa. Musa! Petr Musa! Some cutting edge from FC Dallas. There will be no clean sheet for Zach Steffen. The bottom of the net. This is not an easy finish because there's not much of the goal that Zach Steffen exposes. That's it the was amazing. It was an amazing save from Iron Law. As tough as they come. We get you an update. If we get one. That's the corner kick. And it's there's the goal. They didn't get it at first, but they get it here. Sean Nealis is going to claim it. The Red Bulls will come out and shuffle like a cannon. Lead it one set, oh, eight minutes in. Look at look at the left arm of Nealis over Segura, maybe pulling him a little bit. Denny Boanga perfect for penalties, five for five in his LAFC days. We get six in the 67th. Boanga! Tucks it away! He worked hard for that. Won the penalty and converted his fourth of the season. It's 1-1. One, one. Waiting the goal. Here's the execution with confidence, composure, inside of the right foot. John Tolkien to take. We've seen some uh, training ground deliveries off these set pieces too. This is a little more direct. Tolkien gets it in. Oh, Forsberg! Onside! Smashes it home! First minute, the Red Bulls take the lead against the run of play, and again off a corner kick. Great delivery in swinger, complicated ball. You were mentioning in Max Sand Pizza. Has they go short. Tillman space for Sergi Valencia. Numbers in there in in black. Looking for Chano jumping up Mueller. He's been a handful. Bulanga! And this coming off a set piece, Danny Buanga, with time and space, he fakes, he fakes, he goes. Have added their name to the scoring summary. 
Yamar, Vargas, giveaway at the top of the area. Atakube swinging it to the penalty spot, and there's the goal! Ryan Gold, the man who went down to draw the first half red card, has now given Vancouver the lead on the road. Make the most of it. They try to force the ball out, a quick play. This is the cutback. Fantastic vision there. Get more time, all of his time off the bench so far, but you would expect as they get into May, June, July, August, where you're playing eight, nine matches a month. Turnover again, and a chance to double the lead, and they do! It's the second time tonight a turnover has been costly, and this time it's Brian White. 2-0 Vancouver. But you see him just apply pressure two against one. He tries to dribble through that. And then he regains his composure and just slots it home. Plays it ahead. Abata, back heel, the blind pass. Nobody there except the loons who take it away. In transition, they get it to the foot of Robin Lud. Finish midfielder, plays it ahead. Olawashe waiting on this, able to strike and fires and scores! What a hit by Tani Olawashe. It is Minnesota with the lead on the road, his third goal of the season. Position. He drifts inside, he's saying exactly where he wants it. What he's doing is playing on the shoulder of the last defender. This time, you've got two Aloma and Privet. They've got caught. In a draw following the 3 2 victory over Toronto last week that saw Patrick Ajiman subbed on to score a game winning goal in the 85th minute. At what point might Charlotte turn to him? Fragapane the other way, able to square this, and it's 2 0. Oh, a terrific team goal produced once again, and Robin Lude with the finish. The Loons have doubled the lead on the road. They have so much space in those wide areas. It's a lovely ball sideways from, to Fragapane. He puts the ball into the box, and then Lude is there in the right. The hero last week with the game-winning goal late. Now on the in-swinger, and the celebration is on. Another goal for Minnesota, and it's taken all the life out of this stadium. It's a 3-0 game. You just see as the ball comes across. Yeah, and it is. It's a great header from Dodson. Just gets away from his man, just gets on the wrong side. He's the man now. Last year, six goals, four assists, and 32 appearances this year. Six goals and assists in just eight starts. Booch. Peck. Yes! Closing the gap, Gabriel Peck, one Seattle LA Galaxy. Unfortunate for San Jose's back line, but the initial header one from Yoshida. Brugman, Pooch, little touch out of the way, and there's that run. We've seen it all season. And the two new wingers, Gabriel Peck has one. Now Joseph Pencil wants to join him there. William Yarbrough, a veteran of many years in Liga Emekis and here in MLS. Capable of the stop. They need him here. Paintsel, 24th minute. Yes! Cobb draws it. And he celebrates with the supporters again. The Galaxy, irresistible early in the California Classico. He asked Rosendo Mendoza to go to the monitor. Up steps Paintsel, keeps it on the deck. William Yarbrough down to his right hand side. Paintsel opposite. What perfect additions they are for the Galaxy. Big money moves. Paint still. That one's redirected. It's three for LA Galaxy. Maya Yoshida's going to claim it. We'll get to the bottom of it. May have been a miss hit for the Earthquakes. It is unraveling like Weezer in the sweater song. Over a combo who's responsible for that right post. And the 35-year-old former Japanese international, it might have taken a deflection off Beeson. Oh, give it to Maya Yoshida. Give it to him. 3-0. LA Galaxy, 30 minutes in. To draw one back, Christian Espinosa. Drives him off, redirected, and in! Rodriguez going to claim it, and we are flying in with goals at Dignity Health Sports Park. 33rd minute, it's something for the Earthquakes to hang their hat on. 
With halftime just a few minutes ahead, 3-1 here in the Cali Classico. As he shapes up, whipping this ball in, everyone looks to be in an onside position. It comes off the back of Pat. Both with some attacking go forward here. Jovalich, look at Pooch in that middle run. Gabriel Peck, San Jose getting stretched. Paints a wide open. Pooch, yes! Mickey Pooch in the 56th minute. Among the many things the Galaxy do well in attack is score on counters. They've done it again. And it's three goal advantage for a second time. 4-1. The initial ball into Peck, cut in, and watch Pooch do his magic. Extraordinary. Extraordinary for the 24-year-old. It all slows down for him. First goal of the second half. After some positive signs, and you were pointing it, when San Jose in possession, you got to be careful of that turnover. It happened. Espinosa gets it in, and San Jose pull one back. Almost immediately, we still got again the first touch here for Benji Kikanovic. It's 4 2. And just one minute later, Kikanovic in an onside position gets past his mark, gets away from Surreal. He's got the goalkeeper at his mercy. Aboba C slots it home. It's a one goal deficit. A game they trailed by three twice. The 100th edition of the California Classico has seven goals. And you get the feeling there's more to come. Zavaleta off the bench. He gets judged for tugging on that right arm. Calm, cool, collected hitch. Keeps it on the deck. 4-3.